Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to showcase a method to animate clothes for metahumans in Marvelous Designer. Let's jump right in. I'm going to record a little mocap animation that I want my metahuman to do. So let's go record that on my camera. And now that I have recorded the animation that I want to use, let's open up Marionette to process that footage. Let's do a little calibration right there. I'm going to set my in marker. Go to the end here. All right, just like that. It has finished processing. Let's go ahead to export this. Put T pose. Nope. I'm gonna just there's only one clip, so that's all the settings I need. All right, let's go ahead and import this FBX here. And I do I want to import the animations. I do want to import the animations, and I want to import the skeleton meshes, but I do not want to have a skeleton selected. Is and we've got our T pose, which is nice. All right, there's our animation we just made. Now that we have the animation in Unreal Engine, the next step is to create our metahuman so that we can retarget this animation that we just created to the metahuman skeleton. So let's go ahead and create that metahuman. Should come up, right click, come down to metahuman character, all this clothing demo one. I'm just gonna use the preset of Orlando here. To close, we need to come down here, select his outfit, double click it, and now he's in his series. And now he's rigged, let's go ahead and assemble this. And now that it's assembled, the last thing I'm gonna do is export the combined skeletal mesh, our favorite part. Let's go ahead and retarget this animation. So I'm going to right click on the animation sequence, come down to retarget. And then let's select our boy Orlando in here. So I'm gonna type in Orlando, our boy. Great, and then we're gonna come down to export animations. So now that we have our animation retargeted to our metahuman that we created, the next step is to prepare the animation for Marvelous Designer. So what I mean by that is, Marvelous Designer works best when characters are in an A or T pose. So we start by getting them in an A or T pose and then transitioning into the animation. So let's jump into that. All right, so I'm gonna drag our boy Orlando in here and I'm going to make a new level sequence and we're gonna call this Orlando Clothing Demo. Up. We're going to select our Orlando character here. Let's delete these control rigs because we do not need them. Also, let's make sure he's centered up in the world here. Great. So the latest version of the Clo MT Live Sync that was just updated a few days ago has this really cool new feature called Pose, where basically you can choose a start animation and an end animation, and it will interpolate that for you before you had to make a sequence and everything. So this is very cool and very helpful. So basically to set this up, what we're going to do is I'm going to come here and we're going to open up our skeletal mesh of Orlando here. And I'm going to create asset, create pose asset, current pose. So then we can come up here and here's our A pose for him. And then we want our animation to be the animation that we made for our marvelous designer. And let's hit combine. So now we'll see this new sequence that was created. I have a little floaty thing because my uh, skeleton was not targeted correctly, but yeah, there's the animation. So now that we have this animation, we can go ahead and right click on it and come up here to export. Let's go ahead and export that. All right, now that our animation is ready for Marvelous Designer clothing, let's go ahead and open Marvelous Designer and put some clothing to our animation for our metahuman. So I'm gonna come up here to File, Import, FBX, and let's select our FBX animation we created. So I also wanna collect Auto Add Arrangement Points and Auto Create Fitting Suit. All right, let's hit OK. All right, here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to extend our end frame to about 650, I think is what it was, 650 here. Let's go ahead and play this. Boom, here's our transitionatory animation. Let's make sure he has his arrangement points. Okay, great. He has arrangement points. The um, 
Fitting suit did not work, but that's fine because we can create a fitting suit. So we're gonna come up here to avatar editor. Also, if you don't have your animation editor playing like I do, there's a little arrow potentially down here for you to grab or come up to window, animation editor, maybe go to layout default, and there should be an arrow somewhere for you to click to pop up for this. Um, anyway, okay, let's get back to it. So we need to create a fitting suit for this guy. So we're gonna come up to avatar, avatar editor, and fitting suit. So mid neck, let's come up here. All right, then we'll drape our fitting suit. There we go. Come up here and save it. Save this as a rando fit suit. And now that all that's done, we can come up here and create a little outfit for him which is what I was just basically trying to do. So I'm going to use the Marvelous Designer default uh, setup. Let's just do like, uh, do that. Do long sleeves. Great, we'll do the collar. Repositioning on those, so I'm gonna select that guy. I'm gonna come up here to show arrangement points, and then I'm just gonna click on the top one here, that guy right there. There we go, and now they are a little better fitted. So if we come up here to run a quick animation, a quick simulation here. All right, and sometimes that happens, we can just pin this. Just like that. I'm gonna do some quick pinning here. All right. Unpin all of these. There we go. Pull out the shirt. All right, he has his shirt ready. I'm actually just gonna pull up his shirt a little bit so that it doesn't mess with the pants. Let's go back to the pants now. Bottoms, pretty much only have one trousers. Pants all good. I'm gonna come up here and grab all these guys. Unfreeze this. Pull this over the top here a little. Now that he's got his clothes fitted, let's go ahead and do a little animation simulation. So I'm gonna come down here and here is the record button. So I'm just gonna click that and let this do its work. Now I'm not going to do any texturing, so I'm not going to set up any of the UVs or anything because this is just to showcase the animation. All right, now that we have created our clothing in Marvelous Designer and given it the animation for our MetaHuman, let's bring it into Unreal Engine and process it on our MetaHuman. There are like five different ways to do this. You can export an Alembic file, you can export a USD file, you can export an FBX. All of these options include the animation cache so that it's possible to animate them. So they can work in Unreal Engine. The option that I'm going to choose just for right now is USD because that's the workflow that I'm using. But um, the Live Sync editor also has an option that they're coming out with, uh, which is very cool. So uh, if you use a Live Sync plugin, I encourage you to use that. 
but for me, I'm just going to use USD right now, but it's the same if you were to use Alembic or any of the other ones. So um, pick your poison. All right, so I'm gonna come up here to file, export. I'm gonna come down to USD. Let's call this Orlando export demo. And I want the mesh, I want the material. I do not need the uh, avatars. Let's make it a single object. We'll make it thin. I don't need the coordinates because I don't need any of this stuff. Uh, I do want the garment simulation data. I do want the garment animation. I don't want the avatar animation. Let's export that. All right, that export finished. Let's come back here. I'm going to drag in that export that we just made. Yes, these are basically all of the patterns and stuff and all of the little uh, garments that we created. So, yep, we'd like to import all of these options. All right, so let me open up this geometry cache. All right, there it is. Ooh. Got a cool shirt on. <laughs> it doesn't, uh, didn't assign any materials. I'm just gonna uh, drag this in and drag this into our sequence. Just kick us on a geometry cache and we can play it on through. There's our clothes moving for us. that's it hopefully you found this useful as i said there's so many ways to do this if you have any questions let me know i'll see you on the next one thank you